Yo, Gaming, I forgot to focus the cam. Hey, everybody, I'm Gaming now, and I hope you guys are too. Welcome to Y'all Gaming. I'm Coney. I'm here with TK. Hope you guys are doing well. And remember, Y'all Gaming is presented by Prize Picks. That's right, Prize Picks. And if you use code Y'all Gaming, you can get $100 a deposit match on your first deposit. So check out Prize Picks and check out Prediction. Check out Y'all Gaming on all your favorite podcast places. And uh, check out how TK's doing. How you doing today, my friend? I'm good. I'm setting up for Gommel. Uh, I got a flight at which I thought I was super hyped though. Cause at first, the flight was at five fifteen, which means I just get to stay up, right? Sure. And 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 game until like three, and then I go to the airport. Right. And then it got pushed back to six, and I don't know if I want to stay up and game until four. You know, there's something about that hour. That different hour is like me over, man. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> sure. Like three sounds very easy, but four, I'm just like, all right, now we're just pushing it. Like you know, now we're now now we're gassing it. You know, but. Uh, but either way, going to Gamo, don't even have to be there really. I'm not working on Friday, but uh, just gonna go hang out because I do like uh Toronto, so and then and then yeah, we'll do some Tekken, some Street Fighter, and uh, then I go to a uh, combo breaker and I'm on the Tekken World Tour, so I get to commentate just solely Tekken. It's a good time, yeah, Damn, bro. It's busy. Looking forward to the next two weeks, yeah, that's sick. I was thinking about going to combo breaker, I was like going back and forth on it. I don't remember why I didn't, I think it was because uh. I'm traveling for another thing, and I don't want to be gone two weeks in a row. So I'm going to be gone the weekend after Combo Breaker. So it was like, is this a thing that is is it for fun or is it for business? Uh, both. Oh, okay. It is a secret thing that I don't uh I don't think I can talk about yet. If this is All if right. it is that weekend, but I can't remember. But uh, yeah. So I'm excited. Um, but we got some games to talk about today. Now I know the thing said we're going to start with Hades, but I actually want to finish with Hades. Because these two games, I don't think TK has played, so I'm going to go over them real quick. And uh, probably never will. No. I, I, are you not going to touch Animal Well at all? Is that the dunk, Donkey game? Yeah, man. Uh, I did not have it in my side. I didn't even know he was making a game. So that's Well, just... he published it. He didn't actually make it. Oh, okay. Well, then well, who made it? Uh, It's a new studio. I think his name is Ben Basso. Is like the, the dev. It's a one-guy dev. Uh, it basically, it's it's basically, as far as I know, I think Donkey just like funded the entire thing, so he just gave mm -hmm. him a blank check and was like, "Hey, make your game," and then he did, and it's great. Um, everybody loves it. It's it's like twenty bucks or twenty five bucks, and the whole game is I think like sixty megabytes. It's really small, um, mm -hmm. but the game is infinitely deep. There's a lot of secrets. It's like a Metroidvania. Um, I liked it okay. I mean, everybody's giving it nines and tens, uh, but I think it's that's a little overblown. Religious. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just one of those things that like it's very good and people are excited and happy about it, but like it's not, it's re not revolutionary. Like Hollow Knight was revolutionary. That was a new thing. Um, it's what pretty it good. Though? Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yes. Dude, Maybe. No, I yes. Don't know. I mean, maybe I don't know, bro. It's a it's a Metroidvania doing Metroidvania things, and I think well, maybe you know what? I, you know what? I think maybe but it was the first so one. Big. Bro. Now, maybe it's the first one because I'm thinking of uh, how often I've gotten tired of that style of Metroidvania, like the dark, yes, brooding. But I think they were the first ones, and everyone's copying them, so therefore, yeah, I'll give it up. Yeah, I mean, like they were very uh, influential. Like a lot of other people. I to me, I think Hollow Knight kind of perfected that Metroidvania, and it was so big enlarge and it just kept going and like I, I kept thinking the game was about to end and then it went on for another six hours like and it constantly surprised me that game I that first playthrough of that game is unlike anything uh I love that game but you're right I think a bunch of people are doing that now um with the same kind of art style and it doesn't yeah. quite hit as much anymore and then like the yeah you know, the dark background and there was like that death's door and I feel like that game yes. probably would have been good if I played it first and not with seeing anything else but because I've already seen this kind of style i was like well okay and well, hades you know. like hey whoa hades still got color in it no 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 know? no. what i mean is like death store was like it, oh yeah it yeah, looked yeah. like hades you know it was like a, it was like a hollow knight hades it's like all right well we have this like that store was good i beat the whole game i remember nothing about it um <laughs> and yeah. and that's not good you know what i mean like i i yeah, yeah. you gotta make an impression um and yeah, we got, we got, we're getting quite a bit of Hades like so we're all over the place right now. My fault, but we're getting all these those Hades like, like too with the Curse of the Dead Gods. Played that game almost right. all the way through. It's actually very fun. But the fact is, like the first eighteen hours, I had to be like, yeah, bro, 
this is not Hades. Stop saying <laughs> <laughs> like this is not Hades, but it it felt like Hades, but like with a uh like a cooldown system. And yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I feel Different. bad. Anyway, everybody's just dumping on on the game because it's not the other game which everybody loves. So yeah, that's kind of yeah, messed yeah. up. But anyway, uh, Animal Well. So you say it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's not great. I think. I think. Well, it's not that it's not great. Did you play Fez? I think you did, right? I played Fez. Yeah. It's Fez, where it's like this Metroidvania, like jump around and do stuff. But the problem is, it's um, it's one of those games that you unlock things by like you have a community of people and everybody's like, oh, what's this? Did you try over here? I think we should all try to do this. And I hate that. I don't like that at all. I don't like having to like have a group of people like trying to solve a game and I want to figure it out intuitively and I think the game tries to do that where it like rewards you for being creative with its items and stuff, but like I don't know. I the reward's not big enough for me. I get an egg, one out of 60, and that's not a big enough price. Um but for some people the joy of, you know, solving the puzzle is enough. So, I get bro it. Said, bro said playing with friends, I sleep. D- literally, yes. <laughs> It's not even friends. It's a forum. I got to go on a Reddit and be like, hey, do you guys know how to do this? And everybody, like, it's like how people play Dark Souls with a guide. I hate that. Mm. I don't, I'm not trying to play. I want to figure it all out, you know? I think that's, that is, you know, leading into the bigger uh, conversation of backseating, you know? Like, (laughs) that just, that's why I don't, you know, do uh, Souls games. Because, like, all that exploration is taken away from me by that one guy who's played this game a million times. Now, it's like, well, the most optimal way, shut up. I don't, it's not about optimal. It's about exploring and then figuring out, you know, trial and error. That's the whole game. So I wonder, oh, well. uh, I don't know. I wonder what playing Animal Well is like now. Cause now it's got to be miserable with everybody knowing all the secrets and like trying to tell you what to do. Like if you're playing it on stream, you're just going to get completely told what to do constantly. Um, which is, I don't know. That seems obnoxious. Uh, said, playing with friends is why you couldn't get into Monster Hunter. I think that Monster <laughs> Hunter is a perfect solo experience. Uh, although, like, it's obviously very much like a you should play with friends. Um, if you are like a new Monster Hunter player, you should definitely play most of that game by yourself. At least like one of them. I, I think the only reason I even like Monster Hunter now is because I spent time learning Monster Hunter World by myself. So sure. now. Uh, I can play, you know, I, when I, when this new Monster Hunter comes out, because, like, there's not much for me to learn, I'm going to probably do the, like, let's hunt together with the stream and stuff, because, like, whatever, let's just get to end game fast. Right. But uh, for Monster Hunter World and Rise, I ran through the whole game myself first before I played with anybody. Yeah, I never played it. Uh, Monster Hunter. That shit looked too big. I'm like, there's too big. much going on. It's it way is very too big. large. Um, yeah, uh, Animal Wall is good. I don't really have too much to say about it, otherwise, it, uh, other than it came out, and if you like puzzle stuff, play it. Uh, I beat it, and I was like, there's a moment early in the game it, it, where it kind of surprises you, and there's a couple cool things, and like I'm like, oh, that was really cool. I can't wait to see what else there is, and then there's just not more. Like at least not to that level, and that was kind of a letdown for me. Whereas like I was kept, I kept waiting for that next big like, surprise thing, and I don't know. Just didn't hit for me, but maybe that's just me. Um, I'm going to go over to my second game, because I beat two games. I've been playing okay. bad games. and uh, wasn't gaming. Yeah, we've been gaming, but before I do, I think TK has to tell me about uh, a certain product that you guys might really enjoy and like to know about. Yeah, I feel like you guys probably are trying to protect your privacy and security online. Love well, doing that. I got something that can uh, actually help you with that. That's the ExpressVPN. I know some of y'all... Or probably like, is that all it can do? Well, no. Actually, ExpressVPN can also unlock movies and shows that are only available in other countries. You just slide that bad boy to wherever you need to be, and then bam, you're there. You need to watch something on the UK Netflix? Go say you're in London. There you go. Like, that. boom. We're we're in there watching whatever we need to go watch on UK Netflix. You need to watch something on, on Indian Netflix? Bam. Slide over there, too. So just do it up. Hey, man, if you're in Texas and you can't go to that one site anymore, you can go to that site by going literally in any other state, bro. So I got you covered. Here uh, at, at ExpressVPN, all you have to do is use this link right now, expressvpn.com slash y'all gaming, and you can get an extra three free months uh, by using the code while y'all gaming. So make sure you go ahead and go to that ExpressVPN, uh, expressvpn.com slash y'all gaming, and you can learn even more. There you do go. It. 
Check out ExpressVPN. I'm going to tell you about uh, prize picks in just a bit. But before I do, we got to talk about Crow Country, which also came out. Uh, mm -hmm. You're mm -hmm. not a Resident Evil guy, right? The old ones? No. No. Okay. Yeah, this will be fast then. It's it's just a it's just a Resident Evil game. It's like it's kind of like the way that I put it is it's like a Funko Pop of a Resident Evil game where the game looks amazing and it, it plays very well, but it's like a it's like a casualized like small like theme park version. It takes place in a theme park and it's it's just really good, man. I don't know what to say. It looks great. I love the PS1 blocky aesthetic. I don't know if Zoomers would be into that. I feel like it's cuz I'm old. But uh it's a very good game. Um I feel like I don't really have much to say about it other than like, you know, if you like that stuff, especially if you're into like uh that like games with cooler visuals and art styles more than, I don't know, uh iconic gameplay cuz the game itself is like whatever. It's just a it's a Resident Evil game, so you just walk around clicking X on walls trying to pick stuff up. Um it's way easier than most of those games because the game is like falling over itself to try to give you ammo. They're just constantly giving you ammo and health. They're like, please don't quit. <laughs> They're trying really hard not to get people. They want you to see the ending. Um, but very good game. I like Crow Country a lot. Uh, I, I don't think I have to sell it on people who might be into it. It got an 8 on Game or GameSpot, which I just saw today, which is good because I saw a lot of people like... It's very polarizing, I've noticed. Like Some people get it, some people don't. Um... And I think it's the same way with Animal Well, where it didn't really hit for me. Uh, Crow Country really hit for me, and I really liked it. So, good game. This year's full of them. The indie game yeah. market is nuts this year, man. Yeah, I mean, like the there was a before we talked to about, about Hades. There was another game that was coming out that was uh, the Rogue Prince of Persia, which is kind yes. of surprising that Prince of Persia got two games out of nowhere, like just in the same year. But that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, what the, what, what, who was clamoring for the prince to come back like this? <laughs> <laughs> like, I need to know. Whose favorite video were. game character is the prince of Persia? All right? That's a little weird. If I don't get another prince of Persia game this year, I swear to God, I'll end it all. <laughs> They're like, all right, well, let's give them two. Let's give them two. Uh, but I played the demo, and it was very good. But they got blindsided by uh Hades 2 dropping and they were like we're gonna step back for two weeks which is probably the most respectful and smart thing I've ever seen a company do yeah um yeah I think there was another game that did that sometime back dude uh, that you know what's really funny so I did a bounty uh last week or last week for a game called gatekeeper very mm -hmm. fine game it's a twin stick shooter kind of like a uh like a like a twin stick risk of rain kind of where you just shoot stuff kind of simple but I liked it I did the bounty and as I'm doing the bounty, I'm like, guys, check this out on Steam now. And everybody's like, that game's not live yet. I'm like, what? They're like, yeah, it's not on the store. I'm like, oh. And I looked at the 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 dates, and the dates changed. I'm like, wait, what? Did they push this back? Am I crazy? Turns out they pushed back the date because of Hades too. Bro. Like they, they also Hades got everybody shook. They were like, <laughs> we don't want to release the same weekend. So they were like, listen, thank you know, thank you for playing, but maybe people will check it out later. <laughs> Was it Nasby? That did that? Uh, did it was like wasn't like Odyssey coming out or something like that? Oh, and, dude, uh, no, cause I it wasn't Odyssey. Was was do you remember? It Wonder and Spider Man came out on the same day, and I think it might have been Nasby Two was the same day as that, and they said that uh -huh. we're we're dropping back two weeks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, Wonder, and you're like, yeah, I'm I'm extra good on that, bro. Like, let me stand all the way back. No one's trying to be the horizon uh, into the. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's that's, that's so what it sad. is, bro. It is so sad. Very good game. Keep getting slapped by a release date of revolutionary game. So, uh, or even it doesn't even have to be revolutionary game. I mean, Elden Ring is definitely a revolutionary game, but like, of course, like Breath of the Wild was like a revolutionary take on Zelda, and so therefore you're like, all right, man. Like three days before this. Although very good and probably could have been a revolutionary standalone in itself. There's not really many games that had that like aesthetic and or play style of um, Horizon. But yeah, it's a new IP versus very strong IP revamping GGs. Uh, speaking <laughs> GGs. speaking of Elden Ring, by the way, I just looked because uh, I, I don't know if you've seen the Kai Sinat stream. Um, mm -hmm. He's streaming all of Elden Ring. He's been live for 144 hours. He's currently on Millennia, who is the hardest boss in any Souls game. I think mm -hmm. he's died, you know, a couple hundred times. He has 220,000 viewers right now. Yeah. That is yeah, yeah. insane. 
No, he's killing it. And on top of that, the people saying that were like they were like there was fifty one K people there just watching him sleep. I was like, that's yep. what you need it, bro. <laughs> goat. Goat, bro. Like I'm gonna take a nap. They just in there. He has a whole. Uh, he, he's got a. He's got a community for real. Like when I when I hear yeah. the word community, that's what that is. When people just in there discussing what happened in the in the the, the action for the last twelve hours with fifty one other uh, hundred other people. Like, all right, this is unbelievable. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I I don't know if he ever beats her, bro, because he's trying to do it. Like he was doing it another oh, way. Man. He was using magic or sorcery or something, and his chat was like, "Not real. You're cheesing. You know, you're tro you're." cheating and so he went back to like you know he's trying hard he has no summons he's just trying for real and he's pretty good at the game but hey don't let the chat tell you how to play the game bro. i can't just i could the... dude i could Man. not believe he cared what the chat thought that blew that's my mind crazy bro oh, he's no. that big and he cares that's crazy to me He's gotten pretty mad about it, yeah. I would be mad too, but telling you not a real gamer for beating the, I'm sure that most of them have probably had to beat that Melania the first time that way too. So, but I'm telling you, man, gatekeeping is so crazy. Like, people get past yeah. that gate and close that shit immediately. <laughs> that's <laughs> unbelievable, man. I, I don't, he, how do you listen to a chat that's 220,000 people wide? I mean, the, the, the crap will always rise at the top. The people uh, talking trash, because everybody thinks it's funny to make fun of the streamer, so... Uh, but yeah, he's about to, all right, I think he's about to finish phase one of Millennia. He will, will definitely die on phase two. He's been on it for a, a, maybe a full day now. Uh, we'll see how he does. So anyway, that's way off topic. Check out Crow Country, now available on Steam uh, and other stuff. It's very good if you like Resident Evil. I beat the game, and it does the thing at the end of Resident Evil games where it gives you a, a ranking, and then it gives you an item. I haven't gone through and played it again because I probably won't. Um, but it doesn't mean I didn't like it the first time. Uh, if that sounds appealing to you, check it out. And you know what else might sound appealing to you? Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app with more than 5 million members. The most fun, exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. You just pick more or less on two or more player stats to, for a shot to win up to 100 times your cash. Prize Pick offers all maps for every match, as well as stats like kills, headshots, first bloods, and many more. And you can test your skills on prize picks this season. It's the most exciting way to play daily fantasy esports. If you have the skills, you can turn $10 into $250. So download the app today and use code YALLGAMING for a first deposit match of up to $100. Uh, did I say $1,000 earlier? I think I did. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> that's a lot. No, take that back. It's one hundred. It's one hundred. Oh no, it's a hundred dollars, bro. <laughs> Could you imagine? My bad. Prize picks, guys. Check out Prize Picks. One hundred dollars uh, deposit match. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy. And now the last thing we wanted to talk about, and I swapped the order because I thought this would be the last thing because I've been playing this a lot, and I'm sure you have uh, too. Uh, Hades Two is very good, and it's basically a full game. Yeah, I, I don't know, like, as long as they don't do, I'm afraid to put as much time as I think I'm about to put into this game as long as they don't <laughs> hit me with the, yeah, bro, Um, so we finished the game, we're gonna reset everybody's data. Yeah, reset all the progress. <laughs> ew. Yeah, just, ew. so I was like, please, no, because I've already put, I beat it, and I beat Kronos in 13, 14 runs. Um, Jeez, okay. And, yeah, I'm very good at this game. Uh, flex. <laughs> okay, all right. But, uh, but now I'm just going through... And you know, trying to unlock all the other stuff. Uh, Chronos, though, I, I I feel like I didn't beat Chronos properly, though. I feel like if someone watched me, I would have got yelled at like I got this, <laughs> I got this one um, power, uh, one of the moon powers that allows you to go like fully invincible, and you. I've get, seen like, that different... one. Yeah, man, I had that, and uh, it charged in like a hundred mana, and I had the axe, and the axe. Slam is, the, is like 50 mana. So you act slam 50 ah, mana okay. twice, and then you go into super mode. So I was like, all right, bro. Like, So now I'm like trying to play Kronos for real, for real. <laughs> and uh, I keep beating his first form, but the second form, there should be a lot of stuff on the screen at times. Um, plus, I'm also going through and using whatever weapon they tell me to use at the time. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the extra bones. Trying to get the extra bones, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I've been doing that. Um, I have one gripe with this game. Okay. And the only gripe that I have is that I feel like they went from fighting to zoning. Like Yes. Well that's actually literally what I was about to say is that uh I feel like I could be Kronos if I just stood back and shot stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's less fun and it would take more time. But I agree. I feel like like the, the up close hits don't feel as strong. You know what I mean? Yeah, because Zagreus had to you know, he had to dash and slide and 
and, 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 you know, really get in there. A lot of his weapons were pretty up close. Right. Uh, and even then, when you were using, like, some of them were, uh, like, range weapons, like, I feel like the range wasn't that crazy. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, I think the range on the... Uh, I, I was actually just watching um, Syrah. She was playing uh, Hades 1 because she'd never played it. So I was like, oh, yeah, I remember some of these weapons. But she was doing a run on the spear, and then she you did a run on the um, on the shield. And the shield you can get Captain America with and whatnot. Right. But... uh. But yeah, it's just like they gave uh, Melanoe so many tools to like run and zone. So you have like very far reaching weapons. Then you have the cast circle, which will bind people. Uh, yeah. And then you have like the, so basically you bind people and then just charge. And it's not like a bad gameplay loop. Like I still enjoy that, but I really wish there was like one weapon that made me want to go in. I agree. Yeah. I mean, they got yeah. the twin blades, but even still, it's like it doesn't hit hard enough mm -hmm. for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's that, not. No. Yeah, that's kind of what I ran into. Is like I feel like I'd be doing better, and I'd be able to. Like I'm getting to the end. I just I haven't beaten it yet. I got close. Uh, but yeah, it's like I I feel like it's less incentivized to run in and do stuff. And it's weird because you think it would be because when you hit something, it staggers every time, and you could just you know um kind of stun lock it. Um, yeah. But with all the other stuff, I don't know. It's uh it, it's it's different. Um, obviously she's like a witch. Or whatever, so she has a lot more spells and witchcraft and uh, makes all that sense, stuff. yeah. So I and I, and I do like I do like all the weapons. Well, okay, I don't like the the twin torches. That's not really a, a B weapon, but uh, the other all the other weapons so far, even the the last one, the the, the skulls skull are weird. Yeah, but I like I like it. It's it's definitely taking me some time. Like I like it. I like the idea of what I think I can do with it. Yes. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, like yeah, the only weapon I feel like I don't really like to play much is the torches, and I'm sure that there's probably even a good build for that. I just base level torches. I feel like if I don't run into uh, a hammer very early, I don't want to play. It yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, exactly. So I, yeah, uh, but like the game is sick. The game is super sick. Yeah, it's very good. No matter what, I, 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 I'm running into like, I, 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 I don't use mana ever like i never use casts or anything like that i just don't think to do it um i know i should uh but like that's probably the big thing holding me back because like you said it's not like a i'm not like a, a a zoner i'm not trying to run away and throw stuff um but the game itself is very good uh i i think one of my main issues with it and i don't even know if it's an issue the way that hades operates in the first game is like this too you don't get progression until a certain point where the game like unlocks it. They're like, all right, now you talk to this person and they're going to unlock this part of the game for you or this is going to happen. And I think they gate it to like keep you interested or whatever, but it also creates this thing where like you can't you have to keep playing to see it. You can't mm -hmm. earn it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's not like you're going to break through a wall and then you like everybody talks to you and it's like, okay, you get this 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 this. It's like you have to fight somebody ten times or do, get to this point ten times, and then this guy will have something to say that opens up a gate where something else happens. Um, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, but it is something that kind of – I don't know. I would like a little bit more transparency into that. Uh, like the gating is does, – it doesn't feel like you know when something is happening, basically. Like, like you just, you're going to be playing the game. But you're not really, it doesn't really feel like you're working. Like, you are always going to be working towards something because, of like, the cauldron and stuff. But, like, even then, like, I can't tell you when something new in the cauldron is going to unlock. It just right. yeah. happens. Like, I'll go back to the cauldron exactly. and the next thing yes. you know, like, boom, boom, boom. Here's three more things you can unlock. Okay, but why? You know, like, what did I do to spark that? Yeah, I get that. I think they're trying to just keep you playing the game, which is fine. Like, you don't know what's going to happen on the next run. It's, like, the excitement of it. But it's also, like, I, I, I don't know. I, 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 it kind of annoys me sometimes because I feel like I wish I would have had this or I could have like earned this or unlocked it, but it's a strategy that they're using and it's fine. Um, it's just not. It's the a roguelite too. They, that's, yeah. I mean, it's, it's really just delving into the every run is different type right. deal and yeah. But I mean, I, I like a little bit of, you know, solidarity in my shit at some point. Yeah. Um, of being like, okay, this is happening because of this. Like, yeah, I can't really explain why. Everything has happened. I am trying to do better at like not skipping through cutscenes, but like I don't really care. They be the talking, bro. Man. They do be talking, bro. Uh, Jesus Christ. I. You know what's funny? I like. I think we've talked about it on this show before. Like, it, we have actually because I remember saying like when I play when we played Horizon the first one, we watched every scene. We're like, mm -hmm. oh, this is kind of cool. 
gaming has just changed so much. <laughs> Like, there's so much noise and nonsense that now I'm just like, even with really good dialogue, like, this, the, you know, Supergiant makes really good dialogue across all their games. It's like their number one thing. But I don't be listening. I'm just tapping the X button. Um, it's definitely a show game moment for me now, bro. Just Yeah, show man. Game. It's, show, it's just show game. It's But it didn't used to be that way. I don't know what happened. It's it, We've gone backwards, you know? Speaking um, of show game, when is this multiverse is Is this next week? <laughs> I knew he was going to say it. Uh, oh, multiverse is the 28th. Yeah, we got a little uh, bit more time. Okay, all right. Just, you know. They're they definitely not, they show some game. They yeah, they're ramping up the marketing. They're they it's it's funny because I think now more than ever I'm pretty convinced that the McDonald's thing forced their hand where they're like, mm -hmm. "All right, we got to go live. Like we have to like we don't have enough to show right now because they were a little bit behind schedule. Now they're caught up." Because they're like, mm -hmm. all right, check this out. We got Joker. We got this Dexter stage. There's a Powerpuff Girls hint. Like, now is the time. And I feel bad for them. But also, like, again, like I said the whole time, it's Warner Brothers. It's not them. But, uh, yeah, it's just constant, like, now they're showing stuff. And they're doing a good job. And if they're showing stuff now, they still have two weeks, which means that I think this means they have the confidence to, like, keep going for two mm -hmm. weeks. And I believe them. Like, I they showed the PvE mode today, and I'm like, oh, sick! Um, I don't know. They've, they've, I think the marketing has failed us before. Uh, again, not on player first. I think that hit stun is still very long, though, but I think I'm getting used to it now. But I'm it's cool just, with it. It's fine. It's just, yeah, shit. Dunk! 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 Every single hit is like a fatal blow in Mortal Kombat. Yeah. <laughs> Every single combo is a Falco combo. Just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, like you're you're getting everything is a knee. Like that's basically, like, <laughs> like that much hit stun is like oh okay. Well, I happening. love that. But I love that. I've gotten yeah, I've gotten used to it, and I still feel like there's definitely creativity within the combos and whatnot. And like that's all I really care about. But I do think you know if they decided to bring it, you know, tone it down just like a little bit. Like, that one Superman clip. No, I watched that's that combo that about. clip of uh yeah Joker doing j comboing on Superman, and I was like bro like that when he hit the pogo. I was like, if that pogo was not on cooldown, that move was going to be disgustingly annoying, bro. <laughs> like, that move is going to be disgustingly annoying. You get in bounce house with the pogo for sure, man. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like uh, right now, the game definitely still looks good. I'm excited to see what they do for the next two weeks. I even gave them the props. I was like, yeah, man, like we're starting to see some real stuff that's like, you know, it's a little promising. And I think, yeah, you might have been on some. Maybe the McDonald's execs. 70 year old man yo the kids really love hockey and i think we okay well <laughs> that's not what that's not the marketing that was going to work in this day and age but no but thank you i guess yeah uh, i mean it's it's just a guess uh we'll see you know we'll see how it shakes out at the end um i again i just feel bad for them because but then you know the people complaining are what us like content creators i think most people didn't care now is the true test because now oh hold on now What's what that? i'm not i'm not complaining from a content lang angle i am a consumer oh what i what i mean is like it's like i the people complaining are like me saying like wow this marketing sucks how are they going to get people back like who cares what i think because hmm. if they do good marketing a week before anything i had to say you know what I mean? It's like mm -hmm. the if the marketing sucked two weeks ago, the game wasn't out two weeks ago. Nobody cares. Nobody's gonna remember it. So good for them if they're able to turn it around. They already have. Uh, I think. Yeah, I just think. I think we were more so like we want the marketing to be better because if this is what you're gonna go through for the rest of your marketing, like you're not gonna capture people. Like this right. is not. This is not the marketing angle that people are gonna be like. You know what I want to play now? Multiverses. Like I just don't imagine yes. that being. But now. I think we're starting to get to that point where people are like, you know what? I could play some multiverses. My big thing was like, all right, you guys were gone a year. What do you have to show? And they didn't have anything to show. But they were holding their hand. They wanted to fill up two weeks. Two weeks is a long time. So they're doing good. Um, would I be too emboldened to ask for you guys' take on the new Assassin's Creed reveal? Is that the one where, like, with the with the samurai and everybody's mad because the samurai is black in Assassin's Creed? He's mm -hmm. like a black guy in Japan. Who, Dude. Who cares? Wasn't like, George Washington? Who cares? George Washington, I think, was magic in one of the <laughs> Assassin's Creed games. Like, why? Who, dude? I don't. Bro, it's a yeah. It's not a historically biblically accurate game. Like, it's what there's like historical references, but yeah, bro. That that 
did that not. This has never been real, you know. That's the, yeah, and why none of you and y'all don't even like that series. Like that's the, <laughs> that's the thing that's killing me is that like Assassin's Creed is one of the longest series of people I've never seen actually play that series. Like, yes, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, there's all these Assassin's Creed that come out, and I don't know too many people that have been like, yeah, I played every set. I played, I tried by Assassin's Creed Four. I was like, I, I'm gonna go through the first four Assassin's Creed, right? And I played about 12 hours of Assassin's Creed 1, and I was like, this game sucks. Like, you do <laughs> the same thing over and over. Again. And, like, it was like, you know, obviously, I'm a little late to the party, so there, that, when it came out, revolutionary, Yeah, right? of course. Probably. But going back in, you kill something, you hide with people by praying, and you jump into hay bales. Like, that was... That was the game, bro. And I was like, this is not fun. And yeah. then uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla came out. I like Vikings. I think Vikings are pretty cool. Um, I played that and it was kind of fun, but it wasn't fun enough for me to want to spend however many hours right. in, into doing that. Um, nor do I really care about how historically accurate. Do they look like Vikings? Yes. Did they play <laughs> and use Viking things that I think a Viking would have? Yes. There was axes and braids and 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 arrows and Trojan horses and whatever the fuck they were doing. Yeah. Uh, or, or like you know, big battles over like areas and whatnot like that. Cool. Now when we get to the samurai game, are they using katanas? <laughs> cool, man. I'm good. I'm they better not be good, using bro. berserker axes in the samurai yeah, game. Like, like, oh no, we forgot. Oops. Yeah, I just that's it. And now you know everyone. Now everybody on the on the timeline somehow was a a, a history major of Japanese culture. Uh, I don't know where the fuck that came from, but yeah, I just don't. I don't care. Like I don't care enough. Uh, I don't care if I don't. And people are bringing up other examples of like, well, what about when Brad Pitt was the last samurai? I also don't care. That was probably just a bad movie. Like I don't. <laughs> well, it also like, depends. Nothing... <laughs> it also like movies are are like self contained, right? Like that one movie is just one movie. Like Assassin's Creed now has a historical precedent to not be historically accurate. They put out a bunch of games and they 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 don't care. They're not trying to be one hundred percent accurate. Um, so I don't know why people care now. It it just feels like. You know, people want something to be up in arms about, like a black protagonist or whatever. The, the only fights are going crazy too, man. It, the the thing that I could see being bad for them, the only thing I could see is like making the main character black at all, because you are inviting this kind of controversy. You know what I mean? Yep. Like from a marketing uh, angle, you're gonna get all the white dude bros mad that care about this thing. I think most normal people would be like, okay, who cares? But you might be turning off a part of your market if you care about that. It's just I don't know. It doesn't. It's it's a non. It's a non conversation. I don't know. It what really the... isn't. And you can just go play the other person too. But then it's a, a Japanese woman, and that, that that means it's not a white man or a man <laughs> in general. So therefore, I didn't even like know I'm that. Angry. Okay. Yeah. No, Fine. you can just go play the other person. So like, it's just the lesser of two evil evils for them. It wasn't a white man or it wasn't a man. I gotta be uh, a black guy or a woman. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. Like my life sucks. <laughs> 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 what choices did they give me? Uh... <laughs> That's so weird, dude. I just don't. I don't know. I I I, I, I don't get why people care this much. Yeah, I just I, I think I think the thing is uh the biggest thing is I feel like a lot of these people are probably never gonna yeah as Bobby said we're probably never gonna play this game in the first right. place. Uh, and Assassin's Creed is not as popular as it once was. Um, it'd be like I don't know. I can't think of a way where I would feel the same way. Like we're Far Cry players, right? Now yes, if they made a yeah. Far Cry, in I don't know, Africa, and the main character was white. I don't think I would give a shit. Like, is the game fun? No, I wouldn't like, care. Unless he's, like, saving black people. That would probably, yeah. yeah that, if, I'm, if I'm savior, a white savior, would, yeah. If I'm a white savior teaching these people, like, how to be civilized, I might be like, whoa, hey. Whoa. Like, it's like, or like the whole game has to be, the whole premise in itself has to be messed up for me. Like, yeah. so Far Cry 7, you are a white pastor going over to spread the gospel in Africa. I'm like, I'm good, bro. Maybe not. Like a brushing your teeth mission. This is what you have to do to stay, like, whoa, man, this is kind of weird. <laughs> but, but if we're just, for some reason, I don't know, it was based in Africa and he was in South Africa where there's generally a lot of white people and he had to go, like, liberate uh, the Africa as a whole, so sometimes he would have to go into more blacker sections of Africa. I don't think I would give a shit, but like, yeah, so I I don't think the white people that are currently complaining about this black samurai will probably care either. So you know, it's just it's it's definitely um, just uh, nitpicking. And there's this weird thing I didn't know this 
there was like an order of samurai and whatever. Well, people are like, he's not even a samurai. He's a retainer. But a retainer is still a samurai. Like, I don't know what a retainer but, but is. But I don't know what that, I didn't know that was even a term. <laughs> like, I'm like, first of all, you didn't even know that. I know you didn't know that. That's like, that's you in Wikipedia this morning, okay? <laughs> when you got your degree in Japanese culture, like, off of Wikipedia, and all these, well, yeah, it's not historically accurate because he's a retainer. Well, read, like, the second sentence, bro, because, like, right there it says the retainers are usually samurais. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I just, it's just, it's, it's, it's not, they're not real arguments. Like, they're not real arguments. It's, yeah. it's really what's, uh, what it is and i feel like you can just say what you want to say you don't like it because it's a black guy and hey man i think if you said it with your chest i probably wouldn't even have a reason to argue with you but let's let's not use the guise of <laughs> I, uh well historical accuracy in a f- assassin's creed game bro yeah like, just say <laughs> what you mean just say like i don't want to play a black guy i'll look at you funny but i'll be like all right like that's, that's he said it with his chest <laughs> yeah okay I just, we, you and i just won't hang out but i get it <laughs> you know like i think that's a little weird you know, I don't. Well, all right, Grandpa, back to the, <laughs> like, back to the house, back to the house. Dude, you, people, so. people be telling me that stuff because being I have the Fallout perk where like I'm a white guy wearing a hat and I'm like a bacon sick white guy, and sometimes a, a white guy will do like a speech check where they're like secretly racist to me. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> you thought I was one of you? Hey, dial it back, dude. Whoa, relax. Like I, I can out them somehow, like because I got a hat on. I don't know what it is. It's, it's very strange. <laughs> So I don't, what's crazy to me is like, okay, so it feels like these things that happen, these gaming controversies are entirely like manipulated by the content creators that uh, they, they push up or they, what's the word I'm looking for? That they serve. Like Mm. people wouldn't care about this if the, if the normal, you know, the, the, the usual suspects weren't making videos about it or causing a big ruckus, but like they have an audience to do that. So it's a chicken or egg thing. Obviously people could just grift and act like this is a big deal and get a lot of YouTube money from uh, courting controversy about gaming bullshit once a week. But also like, why are people watching this? I don't, I don't know. It's that grub guy is know. making, he's got to be making bank off of this. That's what I'm saying. That guy in particular, <laughs> man, he can't believe <laughs> that guy this, got right? to be making bank, You bro. can't be all this up in arms about every gaming thing all day, every day, man. Last week, they won't show me enough titty and it's Stellar Blade. All right, cool, man. Like, sure. This week, there's a black samurai. I don't, I don't <laughs> like this. Like, Jesus Christ, bro. Like, give it a rest. Let, pick your battles. I want one time for him to be like, you know what? I don't care about this. But he can't do that because then he wouldn't have content for a week. Can you not just one week be like, I don't really care about this, guys. This isn't in my wheelhouse. It's, it's weird to me, man. Just, just don't fight every battle, right? But. Yeah. I don't know. It's the attention economy. He's always at the top of the algo, I guess. So, I truly wish I had that. I I truly wish I had that money maker mentality of just going yeah. on going on Twitter and saying the stupidest shit ever, and then probably just muting the thread. Yes, and arguing no. people, you know, or arguing people just for the fun of it. But like, I can't be on the wrong side of history for like on purpose. <laughs> Sure. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'll fight for my side if I really believe that. But, like, I can't really be on the wrong side of history all the time. Like, this is just uh, over the uh, the most minuscule things about stuff you'll probably never do. Yes. I can't imagine him actually putting out the $70 to buy Assassin's Creed Shadows. Because I know for a fact you didn't buy Black Flag or Valhalla or Origins or any of the other ones. Like, yeah. just, you weren't there, bro. Like, you were not an Assassin's Creed player. This does not matter to you, bro. The uh the funny thing is I think there's two sides of it because like, it, like you have to you have to give in to the grift, like commit to the bag, but also you have to be like thick skinned to not care about what people like because like I'm 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 very thick skinned I don't care what the internet says but I also I don't have it in me to like gri- you know what I mean like not be authentic, and mm-hmm. I don't mean that in a, like a, oh I'm so real way it's like. I can't say things I don't mean on the internet without feeling weird about it, unless I, it's Absolutely. like unless it's trivial and stupid, and I'm trying to get like I'm trying to get a rise out of somebody. That's fun, right? When I'm yeah. trying to like uh, piss somebody off, but like at large, like pretending to care about this bullshit as your job to like incite a political gaming sect. That's so strange, right? I I don't know. It's um. 
we got way off topic. That that's just weird to me. I don't know. <laughs> well, hey, bro, here no, here no, y'all gaming. We talk about all type of gaming. It's, yeah. If we're gaming, or if you're gaming, or if it's about gaming in the gaming space, it's all talked about. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But yeah. Anyway, shut up, Grubs. That's all. That was the probably the. <laughs> bottom line of that one strange <laughs> one away from the sub goal yeah but that's funny i'll lie if it's funny like i don't that think is grums funny. is doing it because it's funny <laughs> is that really funny like what's the joke and like i don't want to play as a black guy like this yeah i can't right. tell if he, and i can't tell if he's like if he really believes this stuff too that's the worst right. part it's like yeah. do you really believe this or is this really just a money making scheme and if you really believe this like what how did you get here is really like yeah you know what i mean like how do you get to these points of like this is the outrage. This is what this is the worst thing that happened in your life. Is that right. you, a game you are not going to play? There's a black pr protagonist where probably it should have been a, a, a Japanese guy, really, you know, yep. uh, most likely, but it's not. And this guy is actually historically accurate, but could have been anybody else, right? You know, but it's a black guy. Now you're like, I'm in up in arms about it. That's or the thing, though, they're censoring like, the titty. I'm I'm up in arms about it. That's you know? the thing is like there there's an audience for that though. And, like, people really want to watch that, and they care about it, and they're all up in arms. And then it's like, the censorship thing I kind of get, because when stuff comes from Japan and it comes to America, like, censorship can change the meaning of things, and it can kind of, like, divert what the author is trying—or the author, but the game dev is trying to say or do. So, like, I genuinely kind of understand some of the censorship arguments, but usually it does come down to, like, I want to see big titties. It's like, I, mm -hmm. well, I mean, let's—is let's, that what the dev wanted? Cause some devs want that, right? Like I, I don't. It's, it's a, it's a weird conversation. Did um, you? There's before we get out of here because we are. We, we, there's another show going on. We got to. Oh yeah, we got to go. Up. Sorry. Yeah. But uh, there was that uh cozy game that was coming out where that guy put the tweet out about like the the jiggle physics. No, and, I didn't see it. No, all right. So there was this cozy game that's about to come. I cannot remember the name of, it, but it had all the cozy streamers up in arms because they were like, well, "Who do you think these games are for?" And it was like. We're putting the jiggle physics slider up to 200 or something. And they're like, what? Because <laughs> that's like, those are not normally games that are played by like people who like give a shit about jiggle physics. Like, yeah. I didn't come to farm to watch that lady's tits go up and down. Like, <laughs> that's like ragdoll and Animal Crossing. Like, that's not, that's not what I'm here for. You know what I Thank you, I guess. But what is it? That's weird. Okay. Yeah, bro, they're not even was... jiggling in a cozy game. How does that even happen? There's no running. I, it, that's I don't. Yeah, I don't. You know, if anything, you know, may, let's maybe make the, the put the jiggle physics on the plant or something so that when the <laughs> wind's going, you know, we can. It looks like the oh yeah, look at that. The plants are in the wind. There, but no, I don't care about what this lady's titties are doing as she's you know tilling the land. Like the... <laughs> damn, those oranges are bountiful, bro. <laughs> the way they go on the trees. Sheesh, I need to get one of those those peaches. Those things are full. That, that <laughs> It was crazy. And then they all called him out, and then they, they went to the Discord, and the guy was like, well, I just don't understand what was the issue here. So that didn't help either. Um, but, yeah, I cannot remember the name of the game. I'll figure it out by next uh, y'all gaming. But, yeah, I just – gaming is in a weird spot right now. It's man. very really weird. stuff happening, and then yeah. some really weird stuff happening all at once, and everyone's fighting everyone. So Yeah, it's, it's a strange thing. Guys, we do have to get out of here. I would like to keep going, but we have to go by 7 because they need to use this channel. We were a little late today because uh, mm -hmm. we had to reschedule stuff. So, But we'll be back next week. Uh, TK is going to Gommel this week, right? Or is it this yeah. week? Yes. Yeah. yeah going I'm going to Gommel. I might stream later. I'm trying to pack and uh, make sure I have everything. I'll probably do a little tech in it or something. or Maybe we'll look at the Gommel bracket. I do have to shoot uh, videos too. Uh, I'll talk to you after, after the stream. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, another y'all game and if you have tuned in late and you want to hear the rest of it it's on apple it's on youtube it'll be on spotify and all that good stuff so definitely keep up make sure you drop a like follow subscribe anywhere that you can for y'all gaming appreciate you thanks for watching everybody we'll see you next time goodbye